And so on your periodic table, I want you all to find the first atom that's on here. The first atom that we see listed on your worksheet is carbon. Now the instructions on this sheet says, uh, the, the title of this worksheet, is, and it will be online also uh, in case you lose it, it says drawing atomic structures. Use a periodic table and write the atomic number and atomic mass for each atom. Complete the diagrams and draw the electrons in their proper shells. And place the correct number in the nucleus to indicate the number of protons and number of neutrons. Okay, so carbon. If you guys will notice, it has an atomic number that says equals an atomic mass. So everybody find carbon. And remember it looked like this. What was my atomic uh, mass? Uh, 12.011. Okay, 12.011. Okay, and that's carbon. Okay, so here's a rule. When you see an atom that has a 0 .011, I want you all to round the number. Okay? So it's not 0.5 or higher, so you're going to do what with it? Keep it at 12. Okay, yeah, keep it at 12. Okay, so the atomic mass will be 12. You can go ahead and put 12.011 here, though. Okay? It's just for our math purposes, okay? And then atomic number is going to be this, right? So this is my atomic number. And this is my mass. Now, one thing to remember is that's AMU, atomic mass unit. Okay? Okay. So, we also have to complete the actual uh, picture diagram of this particular atom. And so, knowing this information is going to be very beneficial for us to be able to do this diagram. Okay, so we have the nucleus of the atom as drawn. We also have these two rings going around the outside. Okay, so this is the nucleus. Okay, what do we know is going to be inside that nucleus? Okay, neutrons and? Electrons. Not electrons. Protons. protons, okay? So remember the atomic number, which if we had our little drawing back up here, the atomic number was at six. What's that six tell me? There's six, six protons. protons. Six protons. So I can go ahead and put a six here and put P for protons. Okay, and we know those are positive, so I'm going to put a little plus sign, okay? Now we also had this number 12 down here, and we rounded it, so it's just 12. How do I find my neutrons? By subtracting six from 12. Good, so subtract. So 12 minus 6 is 6. Now you might say, well, that's the same number here, Mr. Hayes. But don't get in that, don't do that. Because oftentimes, especially in tests, that number will not equal the neutrons. I'll intentionally find atoms that don't do that. That way I, I want to see, do you know how to do the math to find it? Do you know to subtract? Don't add, don't divide, don't multiply. Just subtract the numbers, okay? So my neutrons in here will also be 6. I'm just going to put 6 in, okay? There's no charge, so I'm not going to put a plus or a minus. Really, all the neutrons do is hold the protons together. That's all they do. Okay? Okay, so then I have to add my electrons. How many electrons do you think this atom has? Twelve. Not twelve. Six. Six. Why six? It's the number of protons. Right. It's the number of protons, which was positive, so six protons, they were positive. We have to have an equal number of electrons to balance it. So we also have to have six negatives. Because what happens when we take 6 minus 6? Uh, zero. Zero. So we want to make sure it has a zero charge. This atom is not charged, at least the way it is in the periodic table. Okay? We'll talk more about how atoms become charged later, and that will be for a, a discussion probably next week. Okay, so the first energy ring, what did we say in the PowerPoint? Could hold how many electrons? Two. 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 Very good. So I'm going to put an E here, put a negative, and an E here, negative. Now, like charges don't like each other. They want to stay away from each other. So we're putting them on opposite sides, okay? So how many more do I need to get six? Five. Nope, that'll give me more. So take six minus two. Four. Four, Four. okay? So I'm going to put an electron here, electron here, electron here, electron here. Now, there will, will be a later date when we actually put two and two and two and two because there's what's called the Lewis dot structure, which we'll get into later, which helps us to understand how the atoms are going to connect. But for right now, I'll just try to get them away from each other, okay? 
So let's add up our electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're good there. We had six protons, we're good there. We got six neutrons, we're good there. Okay, so this atom is drawn correctly, and you have the atomic mass and the atomic weight also correct. Okay? What I want you guys to do is go ahead and finish out the other five atoms. You'll have to find them in your periodic table. If you're having trouble, consult with one of your friends. You guys help each other to understand it a little bit better. If both of you are confused, let me know and I will help you out. Okay?